hello hello welcome 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 back to my channel welcome overcomers um i just have a real quick message and um many of you have probably heard this message so many times so many times but um the world needs so much healing people need so much healing and this is what we must understand that things happen first in the spiritual realm and then you see the manifestation of the reality of it okay and so the spiritual you cannot see inside of your head inside of your mind you cannot see the thoughts that you think um you cannot even see the emotions of things um let's say something happened you have an encounter you get mad at somebody uh, somebody does something wrong with you and so then their offense comes and then there's unforgiveness which you cannot actually natural see but you see the side effects from these things from bitterness and how somebody react you see the side effects from what goes on in somebody's mind from what is going on in their life someone could be speaking and saying one thing but i'm telling you whatever you see the manifestation of in their life it was first thought up here it was first thought up here everything that's going on in the world when it comes to racial injustice when it comes um to racism that is something that has been embedded in the mind that is a mindset you have to understand that it does not matter what you try to do, what you try to avoid. If something happened to you, if somebody hurt you, if you have abandonment issues, rejection issues, because you got daddy issues, your, uh, your parents wasn't there, you are going to have to change your mind first in order to see your world change around you. I don't care if you try to have sex to fill that temporary void. I don't care if you smoke weed to get high for it to go away temporarily. If you um, uh, get drunk, alcohol, whatever you want to use. I don't care if it's some type of pill you want to pop to change that. If you do not get to the root to pull that seed up from what happened that was planted in your mind for why you think and why you view what you view from what happened to you, you will not see anything change in your life. When I battle with depression and I had suicidal thoughts, I heard God speak to me clear as they say, if you change your mind, you will change your world around you. And when I started to change my mind, when I started to go to the root, when I started to um, see that the depression, suicidal thoughts came from the adversity, from molestation. It came from um, abuse, bad relationships, rejection, daddy issues. I started to see things change around me. My own individual world, my own individual life. And this is what you have to understand. Romans 12, 2 is so real. Do not be conformed to the things of this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Your mind is your GPS, and whatever is going on up here, whatever you thought first um, that you didn't see first, that's the manifestation of the destination that you've arrived to. Wherever you continue to think, whatever continues to create up here, that's going to continue to be the route of your roadmap for your life. So whatever it is, whatever has happened to you, somebody offended you, you're dealing with depression, whatever, you're going to have to get to the root of that thing to change your mind, to change your perspective. You're going to have to receive healing in your mind by changing your mind. Again, if you change your mind, you will see your world change around you. I don't care what excuse, what a temporary void you want to use. This is your GPS to where your life has gone, to where your life is going, and where you will arrive. So how do you change that? If it's something that you don't like what you're seeing in your life, you need to change the address. Y'all be encouraged. I don't know who this is for, but 
You can look, you can name so many excuses. You can say because your mama did this, your daddy did this. That happened to you. You are going to have to rise up to be an overcomer. You are going to have to tell that victim mentality. It can no longer keep you in chains. I was there forever. No, you cannot change what happened, but you can change the perspective in your mind of how you see it. And you can make the decision to no longer to allow it to control your life of saying that this is your life because this happened. No. Change the address in the GPS. Change your perspective. Forgive. Heal. Y'all be blessed. I love y'all. Have an amazing day on purpose.